Okay, what would you change about yourself if you could? Oh shit, I'm a perfect nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Only thing. <laughs> How did you get to where you're at right now? Trying to find my way, right? Yeah, no, yeah, seventh yeah. grade. Three of them to guard. It's just perplexing that every time I jump out the Rari, jump out the race, they're like, damn. Big who do you play for? You know? Damn. That nigga ain't play no sports. The guard. I didn't play no sports to get the Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. I didn't play no sports to get peace, prosperity, positivity, and progression to all. Bins. I didn't play no sports to get the man cheese. Yeah, I didn't play no sports. I didn't play no sports to fuck that bad bitch. I didn't play no sports to get filthy rich. I didn't play no sports to live like this. Yeah, and they want us playing ball just to get our wealth. Five years later, we broke with bad health. I'm talking no one cares, we got bad weed. I'm talking no one cares, we got mouths to feed. Yeah, we on the sideline with the pain. We can't even walk straight, we feel the pain. I have no fear, Mr. Organic is here, man. Keeping it tropical. This shit going on, no shit going down. What's up, Blair? How you feeling, sir? Yeah, yeah, for the seed. Got you to do it, man. I want to bless, man. Love, love, yeah, love, 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 my man Juni <laughs> here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my boy, uh, tattoo artist, killer tattoos, yeah, man. Yeah, my dog. Shout out to him. He told me to me with you too. So yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Y'all supposed to come with him and shit. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So. Yeah, no, I appreciate you making yeah, time. I know everybody's busy, man. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, we out here with man like our, uh, was it Junior? Yeah, June. Junior with June, best podcast in the universe, man. Junior with June, man, podcast alert. You know I'm the podcast master, man. This, this shit I say is the purest on earth. Gonna change niggas' lives, get niggas mad, motivate niggas, all the above. You know what I'm saying? One of them ones. <laughs> You are now June with June. Another episode. We got a special guest today. Have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. Man, I want to get straight into it, man. What's it like growing up in San Diego? Man, um, at the same time, it was beautiful, but, mm -hmm. but it was a poverty. Yeah. You know I mean, um, because the scenery is beautiful, by the way. You know, San yeah. Diego is San Diego, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Yeah. They're one of the best, you know, uh, climates, they say. Yeah. But I was in the southeast San Diego, you know. From, so that was the rough. Yeah, it's called Four Corners of Death. Okay. And I live right there on the one of the main corners, you know, mm -hmm. called the dip. So, um, I was just an aggressive kid that loved to get my energy out, either through sports or making fun of people or beating people up. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. like, I had to find a way yeah. to bottle that up and use it in a positive manner because my mm -hmm. environment was all I knew was hustlers, all I knew was gangsters, all I knew was you know what I'm saying yeah. that. And um, so it was just it was a, it was a beautiful but just a dangerous situation at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So your dad passed while you were young. Yeah, my dad actually passed when I found out in seventh grade. Oh, wow. So I never knew him, only seen him one time. Um, he brought a dog to my house one time when I was a little, little kid. My mom, I remember that vaguely. It was like a dome at Pinterest. She, and she didn't want it because he's not cool with her or whatever, and she kicked him out. That's the only thing I ever remember, him bringing the dog wow. and leaving. But um, the thing about, like I said mm -hmm. in previous interviews, is like my cousin's dad died. My brother, my older brother, his dad died. Jeez. And when you're in the hood, what people don't know is you get an SSI check when your father dies when you're Social on welfare. Security. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I want me a check too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this nigga. He ain't do nothing for me. <laughs> Can I get my motherfucker check? Yeah. So it's like, that's why I knew the power of manifestation. I always tell people, I kind of knew it as a kid because I was in like seventh grade and I wanted money and um, I couldn't get it. And I prayed, like, man, I want my dad to die so I get that check. And yeah. I promised within that week, my mom told me that he died. He died wow. in prison. But the crazy thing about it, he died a year previously. But I found out a week after I like <laughs> prayed for it, which is crazy. <laughs> Jeez, it, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's dark, and, but it's real. You know what I'm saying? But it, yeah, from then on, I was from then on from seventh grade on, I was the man. Yeah, yeah. So how'd you get your name? Um, organic. Basically, it was like I was doing Snapchat one day because I never was on it. One of my friends told me that my personality was for Snapchat because you mm -hmm. talk directly to people. Yeah. And um, I just got on it and started talking crazy, just kept yeah. it real as possible, yeah, just kept it yeah. pure and yeah. kept it organic. And um, so I just called myself Mr. Organic because I was saying it. And uh, and like I said before too in another interview that, you know, in, in, in times it'd be words that people use that covers everything. So Max B had wavy and everybody saying wavy, wavy, wavy. Nice, nice. So I didn't want to say wavy. I wanted my own word. Yeah. So I'm like, what's a word that's so yeah. universal that looks good on anything you put it at. So I'm like, organic, yeah. you fresh, 
Uh, it looks good. It's healthy. It's a positive <laughs> thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to have stuff. growth. Like it covers all. all, all but all you're like, damn, yeah. she look good. No, she organic. Yeah. See that ass? Ooh, looking yeah. organic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just had unlimited potential. Yeah. So I'm like, that's my word. That's what I'm going to go with. And I just said so much, and the people that call me, man, from the seed, <laughs> and uh, they call me Mr. Organic. And uh, from then on, I put the K on it because K stands for kill. Like, yeah. you kill people with your realness, you kill people with your yeah. freshness, you kill people with your grind, yeah. and you kill people with your faith in yourself. So that's why the K there. So, you know, coming from San Diego, right. you got a lot going on. How did you get to where you're at right now? How did you become who you are? Um, first and foremost, it was just um, trying to find my way, right? Yeah. No matter what it was, I'm just going hard at it. So. That's the thing about it. Like, it's, it's something in the Bible. I don't know exactly what the quote is, but it's like God don't give you nothing you're not gonna use. Right. So during this time of me not playing basketball no more, I'm learning how to do my own merchandise. I'm doing music. I'm trying to do anything to get yeah, the fuck out of here. I can't work a job. So right. even though I did work one, I could seven dollars to twelve dollars. Yeah, like, like and, and I had a beautiful <laughs> job. I was like doing basketball training, and making twenty five dollars okay, an hour. So you was, you but I'm still getting paid for my time, like with yeah, little yeah. kids and all. Like, come on, bro. I'm three of them for real. I'm that nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be coming here. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. Cause I, cause I'm I'm teaching the kids basketball, then I'm going out on the town, fucking bitches being fly. I'm doing yeah, cool yeah. shit, but then I'm still a nigga that train kids like, yeah, call, like I can't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need my freedom. So yeah, yeah. I found the way. Me and my dog came up um, with it with a, with a, a plan to do YouTube. Me and my man Tall Guy Car Views. Mm -hmm. um, I remember seeing a, a documentary on Netflix. I don't know what it is, and I always say this. I don't know what it is, but it showed YouTubers making a lot of money. And I'm like, these niggas just talk in front of the camera, put up videos, and they living like that. <laughs> well, but I'm in. Like, you know, sign me up, bitch, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, and, and I had it in my brain, and I'm doing music at this time. My yeah. dog, Will Harris, is my big biographer. He's one of the best in the world. Yeah. I'm like, dog, we could come over to YouTube channel. Nigga, we could get up out of here. But he was like, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. So, that was a seed I planted three years prior to when Slim came to me. Yeah, like, man, let's do YouTube. I'm like, nigga, I want to do it. Yeah, thanks. But he had the plan. He was like, let's do cars. Cause no one's no niggas is doing cars, right? So if you do, if you look up a car like a car review. Okay. There's gonna be a nerdy white dude explaining mm -hmm. how the car run and all that corny statistical nice. shit. But he said if we do it as real niggas, people gonna pay attention and we know what we talking about. We gonna have a lane. I'm like nigga, that's cold. Yep. So that's what we did. We started just doing car reviews, being ourselves, and uh, it, it grew. It grew from there. So how did you get rich? How I got rich was basically built my brand. Okay. So first and foremost, my my clothing line was doing six figures, like. Okay. Instantly, almost. Yeah. I'm doing six figures worth of clothing. Because early. And that's early. just off of merch. And that's just off of merch. Yeah. And on top of that, I'm doing live streams, making six figures live streaming and getting donations. Okay. That's in the first year. Like, I'm killing this shit. So you turned just straight seventh grade, just monster. I was ready for this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Planted early. Was, yeah, because yeah, 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 I always yeah, yeah. was the hustler. I'm a nigga with the gum. I'm a nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. I already had a trap house at 10th grade. We had yeah. the whole trap house selling weed. I left my mom's crib. The money I got from my dad down, we bought a pound of weed. Smart. Like, I wasn't. I was, yeah, it's can't it. nobody say me like that. Yeah, it can't be like, I remember him. He was a bum. No, yeah, seventh yeah, grade, yeah. jury, like this, scooters, yeah. cars. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, this was, once I learned something, I don't stop. So, what happened was, I monetized every single, single thing, thing I did. Yeah. What what made you relocate from San Diego to here? See, that's even crazy because I left San Diego. So I was there. I left my junior year in, in San Diego and went back to Illinois. So I graduated in Illinois. You know what I'm saying? So I left from Illinois and went to Georgia Perimeter in Atlanta. Went to Atlanta, um, left that school, went to um, Arizona State to Phoenix to sit out. Mm -hmm. I supposed to transfer to Arizona State, mm -hmm. but I had to get my credits right because I, I never went to class. I don't think I ever did a, a like homework in my life. I don't never really go home doing homework. I ain't never done it. I can't recall. It's crazy because in school they don't teach you what you really right. need to know. So survival. I, yeah, survival. Sure, life. life. Nigga, I'm trying to live life. I think it's trying to live. Man, I need money. Yeah, so yeah. that was always my problem. Yeah. I wanted the money. I wanted to be cool. Yeah. So that, that runs a lot of niggas in the ground because they chase that cool. So I had to reconfigure the cool to get the money too. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I did once I went to Arizona. So as I was sitting out to transfer to Arizona State because I had a scholarship waiting on me, uh -huh. I'm at a junior college. Mm -hmm. One of my friends came to me. He was making a lot of money. We going to the club every night. I said, nigga, what you doing? You doing this? Me too. Let's go. Yeah. And then I just went to the streets in a whole different caliber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, and that ran out. Um, it got real dangerous. It got real like, you know what I'm saying? Either yeah. die or go to jail yeah. situations. and. One of my best friends, once again, Will Harris, my guy's in seventh grade, he was yeah. with me. And he's seeing me every day. I got stacks of money, but I'm paranoid. I'm rolling over, got the gun. He coming up, nigga, what's that? Like, yeah. I've been had this in the clip 12, 15, well, shit, seven, 18 years ago. I've been yeah. had a 30 bar, I was using it for real. Okay. So it was like, 
I was in that life of robbing and shooting. Like, no, it was fucked up. So it was yeah. like, I'm getting money, but I'm doing it the robbing way. Yeah. I'm doing go across. I'm doing some wild shit. Yeah. Because I wanted money that bad. But my dog told me, like, man, you're going to die, go to jail. I feel it. Like, it's coming. Yeah. And I'm like, I feel it too. So one of my homeboys, he played for the Timberwolves at the time. Mm -hmm. They had a game. My dog went to the game, told him, like, look it up. You know what I'm saying? Three of them. He like gonna die with even some other shit. He we, yeah. we need to get him up out of here. And I was like, niggas, whatever. He said, yeah, it's cool. If not, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he was like, cool. So we ended up taking my last money, moving to Minnesota. So I moved to Minnesota, mm -hmm. and um, that's where I really, you know, turned yeah, my life yeah. around. So from there. You don't drink. You do you smoke? No, I never drunk. You don't do yeah drink. in my entire life. I'm truly organic. I got pure on my fingers. Um, just, never drunk alcohol. Never smoked weed. Never did a pill. And that's crazy because no, usually nothing. people that have been through so much trauma like you've been through right. growing up as a young age and trying to you know they drink and right. they smoke. You right. know what I mean? It, it calms the nerves. <laughs> right. How do you how do you maintain? So <laughs> that's why my energy's still up like this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm 40, but you can't tell. Yeah. Um, because my energy, I used it in humor. Yeah. I use it in clothing. I use it in. I right. use it at Express women at one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I exhibit it in different things other than those substances. I have my own yeah. vices. Yeah. I love clothes. I love. I'm addicted to other shit. Yeah, getting money. I'm addicted to documentaries. That's the drug. That's the drug. Yeah, my yeah. drug is knowledge. My yeah, drug. Yeah. My drug is currency. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's why I just turned it to that. So people use that. I went this way Are this you, year. Would you sign at any level? They gotta give me a bag. I'm rich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I got everything they want. I got more cars and everything. They got all the jewelry, biggest house, uh, full fan base coming with me, merch, clothing. <laughs> so they gotta give me a bag. I'm coming too. Yeah, y'all ain't so, got nothing. So why not start your own label just on the side thing? I mean, I. I Have you ever think about that? I got my own label, Gargoyle Gang. I own okay. it. It's licensed. It's mine. Just, you know you know, I signed myself to myself. Oh, that's me. That P did that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you signed yeah, yourself to yourself. Cost yeah, you about yeah, fifty yeah. grand to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's well worth it. So anybody come with me, they gotta buy equity in my company to even get to me. You know what I'm saying? So they gotta give up M's. Are you season. signing any artists? Uh, no, it's all me. I ain't got, don't send me no music. Don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, uh, it's me. Yeah. It's me season. It's all about me. God bless y'all on y'all path, but I ain't trying to hear you. What's, what's your biggest song out right now? Uh, my biggest song out right now, people love um, my song Young Gold Nigga. Like, that's a good song that people rocking with. Um, also, I dropped a video mm -hmm. uh, and a little viral joint to a uh, song I call No Sports. And uh, that's my intro on my YouTube and all that. People rocking with that too because. Um, you already know you a big guy too. Yeah, yeah. Six six two thirty. I jump out that truck. I got this jewelry on. Who you play for? I know you, Rodman. <laughs> yeah, Rodman. You know what I'm saying? Rodman, the fucking meth head. We ain't yeah. looking the same. Like you could have called him thirty years ago. We could have compared yes. it. But so people, every time they see me, they think I play sports, which I get it. But it's sad that a black man with some size you and have you to play sports. Yeah, yeah, like if it was so a white dude jumped out there, I guarantee they wouldn't say, "I give a fuck how it's tall he is." It's always like that. It's always so it's like people <laughs> gotta break that 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 understanding. So that's why I made that song. How do we break that? Um, we just gotta get a, get more of us in the forefront of, of business and um and and in financial forms. You know, we're getting better with that. People talking about stock market more, crypto more, people doing real estate exactly. more. Um, we gotta get out in front and speak upon that. Even and with get the our TikToks, it's showing that the younger generation can survive and right. make money without needing a job or going to college. It's a beautiful thing because that shit is pointless, and that's what I'm here for. Because. We, me and my dog Slim, we made a lane for real niggas to YouTube. Either you had to be corny, doing pranks, or you get whited up. Hello, guys, look like Chuck E. Nice. Cheese. I came in, fuck you, bitch. You gonna die today, play with me. I'm almost killed two niggas on YouTube, and it's nice. gonna be like that. Yeah, yeah everything, but I'm nice. a real nigga, I'm cool. So, yeah, that's what I'm here for. I wanna show you little niggas in the streets. You ain't gotta rap, you ain't yeah. gotta play no ball. Nice. You can build your brand. Start right now in seventh grade, get you a t shirt, sell it to 10 of your friends. You get to 12th grade, nigga, you'll make six figures in clothing. You're gonna know how to operate that shit. Yeah, you build that. With nice. They got to pay you. A white man gonna see you. How much you making? You pull up in the bins. You 18. He gonna get you millions to get part of that company. Facts. Oh yeah. Okay. What uh, financial advice could you give to the youth? Um, get some crypto. Um, pay attention early. Pay attention to what the big dogs are doing. Don't listen to the naysayers. Everybody who said don't get crypto, they got it now. All the billionaires said don't get Bitcoin. They was fools. Um, if you'd have got Bitcoin five years ago, it was a fifteen thousand um, percent increase that you missed upon. That was a gain. That would change your life. Um, 22 millionaires are made every day with, with Bitcoin and crypto. So pay attention to that. Get in crypto, learn it now. No matter if you don't understand it, bitch, just listen. You know what I'm saying? And if <laughs> yeah. somebody got some money with it, yeah. nigga, listen what it tell you. Yeah. If something low, get it low. Fact. You know what I'm saying? When it go high, all that, leave it alone, wait till it drop back down by it again. It's gonna go up again. You can't go wrong. So get you some crypto, learn about NFTs. Um, build a brand, that's another thing too. Find you a logo, find you some sayings, get some understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Put your propaganda on people in a positive, positive manner. You know, do some documentary research. 
uh, research on dictators, research on cult leaders, see how they talk mm -hmm. and bring people in, but don't do the bad shit, do the positive shit and build your brand through that. That's how you really get your propaganda and your brand to another level. With all the success going on, what do you do to help the community? Um, what I do to the community, I tell them those things I just said. Um, and that's, that's, yeah. yeah, it ain't no handouts. Nobody will give you shit but a hard time and the wrong way to go. Um, listen to the, to the people that's telling you something. Um, stop asking. Pay attention and listen. Uh, get your own shit. I ain't giving you nothing. I'm just going to tell you what to do. I'm going to give you the seeds. You got to grow your own crops because I did. What's success to you? Um, success is happiness. Um, doing what I want to do, how I want to do it. Um, I truly didn't know that I enjoy doing things for others until I got I was a selfish motherfucker. I was on a selfish path to greatness and I accomplished it. Once I got to the top of the mountain, I looked down and saw my brothers down there, see my mom down there. So I had to get them up the mountain. So I bought them houses, I bought them cars, I give them money and they feel better than what I do for myself. So do you think money's happiness? Um, money helps happiness. Um, they said it don't, but they, they broke. You know what I'm saying? And, um, if, if, and if it doesn't, you got too much money and you was got it from when you was a kid or something. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it, it, it helps. But you got to be happy with them first. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you're feeling bad, you go take a trip to goddamn Bora Bora. <laughs> you're feeling bad, you go ride it. Are you good when you get you're back? You're feeling bad, you can swim with the sharks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can do whatever. You go to God Dominican Republic, get 100 holes in the motherfucking hut. Facts. Two stacks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Money, money cool, man. You gonna be you gonna be sad anyway. Shit, give me some money and be sad. Fuck it. <laughs> so is it true that you shot a man? Um, I attempted. Um, and and, and that was what's on the tape. story. What's the story behind that? The story about that. Uh, oh, you want you? Yeah, you want that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> what's the story behind that, man? Um, well, shout out to my dog, Slim. It was just a very, very like crazy occurrence. You know what I mean? Like I said, we're gonna make it into a movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, documentary or something? Yeah, it gonna okay. be it gotta be a movie. It gotta be like Fruitfield Station. Like oh, you yeah, gotta see all the perspectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are and, you see, working on it? I am not, but I I'm gonna get it okay, done. It's in the works. Because it's, it's such a, a masterpiece because I get his position his position. Cause that, that was me. I robbed people and did shit to people so I couldn't get that mad. Facts. You know what I'm saying? He had to go, but Survivor. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where he go. He probably yeah. woke up poor, his mom need the bills, he or they tell him you gotta join this game today, you gotta you know what I'm saying? So basically what happened was we was on our own little meet and greet tour. We did 15 cities in 17 days, me and my dog Slim. Mm -hmm. And um, everywhere we went, we go to like different places because he was locked up. Yeah. When I say my dog was a seven time felon, he was a seven time felon. So he had seven different felony counts when he got arrested for it. So it's yeah. not like three strikes you out. People don't know laws, they dumb. They always yeah, yeah. question that. But you can ask him himself. But anyway, so he was locked up. He used to watch these food shows. So everywhere we go in the cities, you want to visit, yeah, you yeah. got a two pound steak, you eat it in under 30 minutes. We did all that type shit. Yeah. We want to go to New Orleans, see the upgrade. I see, you know what I'm saying? We did everything. Yeah. So when you come to LA, he want to go to Randy's Donuts because they got the big donut. That's a landmark. Circle joint, right? Yeah, okay. so it's a landmark, but it's in Inglewood. It's like yeah, yeah. right there in the hood area. So we went to our, um, we went to our car and I always keep my gun with my license to carry. Mm -hmm. But in California, it's like it was hard to get your CCW at that get, time. It's hard to get yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. even hard now, but uh, can't I got it done. A Me, uh, yeah. misdemeanor now. They don't play. <laughs> Jeez. And they're real selective yeah. who gets it. So uh, yeah. thank God I got mine. But yeah. at that time, I did. But I always kept with me. You know, I'm better with yeah. it without it. I come to the streets. Yeah. I'm walking around. This, my chain at the time was this chain. Still was a 20 piece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still know what it is. Yeah. But anyway. I go downstairs, we get in the car, he get in the car with me. When we in the same car, I always, I ain't gonna have it with him because he go to jail, it's over. So I took it back upstairs, left it in the thing. And uh, we driving, mm -hmm. he's like, I'm like, let's go to Rodale Drive, let's go to Gucci, cool. Yeah. He's like, man, let's go to Randy Donut. I'm like, nah, nigga, that's in the hood, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna go there, brother, like, for what? Yeah. He's like, man, all right, so we go to Rodale Drive, get my Gucci shoes, we'll boom. Go shopping. Yeah, yeah go shopping, we get back in the car, and it's like, we had, like an hour away from a hotel. Mm -hmm. Our meeting greet till like 7 p.m. It's mm -hmm. like 1 p.m. right now. Mm -hmm. It's hot. We walked around Rodeo, you know, we walk around, uh, it's hot. Yeah. So we get in the car, I'm like, man, let's go back to the hotel. Like, all right. So I'm hot, tired, I type those off, wake up, he nudge me, boom, we here. I look up, I see the damn donut. I'm like, my nigga, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. told you no, brother. Yeah. I don't want to fucking go. You still ended up donuts. What the fuck, man? Like, I don't want no donuts, <laughs> motherfucker. We in the hood, goddamn. <laughs> So, and I woke up, I still have my chain and shit on. I know how LA rock, LA. Yeah. If you don't know people, don't get it fucked up out here, yeah, okay? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, don't Especially walk around. Especially if you are known, it's even tougher. It's even, it's that's why I tell, I tell it's people, tougher. it's even tougher. They know you got it. Yeah, yeah. It's, if they don't know you guys, like, that might be fame playing with him, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. oh, I know him. Yeah. Oh, that's real. This is a jackpot. Yeah. So they don't play that shit out here, and you got to respect the jungle, and I knew that. Yeah. So, as I get up, I want to think, and I just got out of the car, like, fuck, come on. He's like, you coming? First, I'm like, nah. 
I'm like, fuck it. I jump out. You already out, my nigga. Let's go, man. Get some fucking. Damn, motherfucker. I like doing this too. Fuck it. <laughs> so we on the corner, and I'm looking like reading this. Shit. I'm like, bro, this is like some hood shit, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. I've heard this shit and some shit before. Man, Chester. I'm like, yeah, hey, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's hurry up. And he kind of, he was standing there yeah. like, he like, nah, you kind of right. Let's hurry up. Yeah. So he go to the thing. He order his donut. Then I'm like, fuck it. Let me get one too. <laughs> we you know what I'm saying? We <laughs> are here. Fuck it, man. So he moved back, and yeah. as I stepped there. You can just hear some motherfucking music coming. Yeah. Cause as soon as I stepped there, I just look at, you know, that slanted glass, either the drive through or you outside, so we outside. Yeah. And I can look through the glass, and I look behind me, niggas standing like behind me pacing with a hoodie on. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like 80 yeah, degrees. Yeah, yeah. He gripped his teeth like, walking back and forth. I'm looking like, fuck. Some weird shit. Yeah, either he was some game banging yeah, shit, yeah. got a mistake or something, or he gonna try a nigga. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it, all right, let me get this shit, I'm in done up, uh, fuck it, let me give me two. Uh, Whole moon switch up. Yeah, let me, I'm like, fuck yeah. it, let me go ahead and get the milk, man, yeah. yeah. Lactose intolerant, I'm gonna drink some milk today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> fuck. Yeah. So, I'm trying to buy my time. So I was like, he's pacing, I can see through the glass swimming. Because he from the streets too, he was locked up, so he looking at this nigga like this, like, yeah. what he on, you know what I'm saying? So I said, fuck it, I grabbed my shit and I stepped to the side, quick, as soon as I stepped to that side, but that parking lot, that's when dude stepped up to me like, nigga, what's up? Boy? Right away, yeah. it was instant. That's that LA movement too. You are, yeah. <laughs> you already know who like, he was like, what's up, nigga, where you from? I said, yeah. nigga, I'm the Slim look. He said, nigga, we from here. So when he said that, it was the longest gun I see. <laughs> you know, that motherfucker. And it came out slow, but fast. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said, damn. So as he pulled that motherfucker out, like, boom, I'm at the parking lot. I looked, I said, <laughs> I was at Speedy Gonzalez, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ran so fast, like, my hat flew off, <laughs> my my phone fell out of my pocket. I mean, nigga, I'm zigzagging, running yeah. routes. You know what I'm saying? I'm running good goddamn Herschel Walker, goddamn boy. Randy Moss. Oh, Randy Moss at his prime. You know what I'm saying? When he yeah. fucking shit his ass on the goalpost. So I'm planting that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, oh, yeah. Matrix. Ran around the corner from there, two blocks to the 7 Eleven. Yeah. My man slammed around across the street. He running across the street. I dropped my phone. So as he crossed the street like that, this gas station dude's still here with my phone. He so got he, your phone. Yeah, so Slim sees yeah. him. So his dude walks like to a car and the Slim runs down the like the expressway. So like, you y'all y'all just left the car at this point. My truck is right there. It's still there. So <laughs> yeah, so back he's that. running across the uh, overpass like this. He's yeah. and he's seven foot. Yeah. yeah, seven foot light skin nigga, green eyed nigga. Yeah. Running like this. Oh, you know, running. Yeah. And as he's running, which is crazy, I ran to the 7 Eleven. As he's running, Somebody's in the car driving. Looks to the right, sees him running. Looking like, hey, tall guy, what are you doing here? He's like, nigga, help me. Give me the goddamn car, nigga. <laughs> so one of his fans yeah. sees him running. He jumps in the car on the overpass and he drives to like a car's unit and they let him out there. Okay. So as he's there, I'm a, I'm at the 7 Eleven. So, so he couldn't even call you. He couldn't call me. I had no phone. phone. Nigga, this is, yeah, yeah. this is what I'm saying. It's a movie. Yeah, yeah. So you see all yeah. the perspectives. Yeah, yeah. So like, I'm at the 7 Eleven. I ain't got no phone. I don't know where my nigga at. My car over there, he got the keys to the car. Yeah, yeah. So I'm coming out the 7-Eleven, looking like, seeing if he coming somewhere yeah, yeah, and seeing yeah. me. I go back in the, the uh, 7-Eleven. I go out again, I look, I don't see him. I go back in the 7-Eleven. I about to go out again, I look to the left. And he's there. And that nigga's coming to the store. So I said, damn. He's still looking. He, still he, he doubled back on me. He did some real gangster shit, so I give him props <laughs> on that. So I'm like, this nigga wolf. Um, he doubled back on me. And um, so people see the video. If anybody yeah. see, let me say this one more time for all you stupid motherfuckers. You go to my YouTube channel. It's my mo number one video on there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Organic Shoots Around, where the fuck? That's my number one video. It's all documented right there for you. So the part of me not running shit, which is the embarrassing part, is not on there. Yeah. So what am I lying about? So yeah. <laughs> the yeah. main part is right here that you see. So people sees it, they think I'm stopping a nigga from robbing a 7-Eleven. I wouldn't you, give a fuck about a 7-Eleven. Did you have a pistol on you at that time? No, no, remember I left it at the hotel. Oh, damn. Which I normally never do. Damn. But I left it at the hotel, which was his saving and probably mine too. Yeah. I know what I would have done. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So as as we um, lock eyes, I look this nigga about 100 feet away from me. I look, I said, fuck. Damn. So when people see the video, see me at the 7-Eleven doing this thing, I'm stopping them from robbing the store. I don't give a fuck about no 7-Eleven, bitch. Yes. So I'm worried about my life. And they not understand that this nigga, he didn't this put a gun shit. on me already, bitch. Yes. I know it. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. So I grab the door, and I knew the door only goes out. It don't go in. So it's stuck yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. So it's only so long I can hold this motherfucker because he grabbed it with two hands and pulled one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What can I do? Fact. So I'm playing goddamn squid game. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, don't get, hold it. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So fuck it. And he yeah. pulled it. I let it go. Like, okay, I let it go. He fell that, back. Oh, so but that it, was a, that was, 
the nigga didn't stop. He came right from my chain again, though, so this nigga was hungry. So he wanted the chain like that. This nigga motherfucker was <laughs> ate oatmeal for two weeks or something. That nigga was starving. Yeah. So when I let it go, he charged in. As he fell back, he just charged in. But that's when I got him because he's all balanced. And uh, it's a rookie mistake. I done rob you, brother. I ain't gonna really tell you what you're supposed to do, but yeah, yeah. I had a gun out already, brother. Yeah, yeah, facts. From afar, tell me to come outside yeah, and shoot me through yeah, the goddamn yeah, yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? That would have been a whole different outcome. Oh, yeah, I probably yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, be. Yeah. I wouldn't been Bruce Willis yeah, then. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, try it. See what happens. Exactly. Like, but he, I let it go, so he comes in, and he and he's falling, trying to grab me. So that's when I grab him. So you see me video grab him. I slam him down. I'm punching him. But I'm not dumb enough just to punch him, and he could grab the gun and just shoot me. You know what I'm saying? As I'm punching him. So I'm grabbing his waist with one arm, punching him with the other arm. I grab my chain back, put it in my pocket. It's all you can see me doing all yeah, that. Yeah. I'm on point. I'm yeah. visual with it. Bye. Grab my shit, bitch. No nothing. Bye. Bye. Also, then, that adrenaline is, you know what yeah. I mean? There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I know <laughs> yeah. he still got a gun. Yeah. This is like, so, like nigga. This is it. <laughs> we're fighting for our lives. And he yeah. know, too, because I'm a big nigga on him. So yeah. he's like, help. He yelling help. Yeah. So then I'm grabbing him. He's squiggly, though. Yeah. So I only got one arm on his waist, and I can punch him so he can't get to the gun. Yeah. But then he starts squiggling out, and he starts going through my legs. He's like, I'm going to get the gun out. I said, nigga, no, you ain't. So as he pulled the gun out, I see it. I'm looking through the corner of my eye. Can y'all zoom in on the eye? Yeah. Okay, boom. So yeah. I see him with the peripheral on this cup. I thought he was going to shoot me. So I moved my head. He just hit my head. Bing. And I punched him. Boom. And when I punched him, that's when the gun flew behind me. He flies behind me. I don't know how I did this. I watched too much Equalize, one of my favorite movies. <laughs> so I lunched backwards. And you can yeah. see in the video, I lunched backwards yeah. to the gun. You know what I'm saying? Grab with my right hand. I'm left-handed like to yeah. reiterate that. We said that with the basketball. I jump on the right side on my right booty cheek. I turn yeah. with the left hand spin, and I try to shoot him. Ta -ta, I pull it twice. Yeah. But it, it just wouldn't go. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm pissed off. Like, why the fuck this nigga ain't dead? Like, So I'm throwing it down. Like, what the fuck? So I get up, grab my shit like, damn. Yeah. Now I go in there. Now my head bleeding because he scathed my head with the gun. So I'm in the store. Like, what the fuck? So... And I remember watching MacGyver as a kid, you get some coffee grounds and stop the bleeding. So I'm like, give me some coffee grounds, put it on my head, stop the bleeding. Mm -hmm. Then I chambered the gun. Like, oh shit. This nigga didn't chamber it. So yeah. people think it misfired, people think it wasn't loaded, no siree. Mm -hmm. He just never chambered it. Yeah. So when I went in there, I was like, cuckoo, in the chamber. I'm like, oh shit, this motherfucker loaded. So also what people don't know is, as I'm doing that, my nigga Slim is in the goddamn Carl Jr. <laughs> Calling an Uber because he was like, should I yeah. go to the hotel, get the gun to come back? Yeah. He had seven time felony. He's like, no, I get that yeah. gun. They catch me. I'm going to jail forever. Facts. I'm going to get to the truck. Should knock me a nigga, run a nigga over, goddamn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bump a car yeah. with a nigga. So he was like, boom. As he's doing that, I'm fighting for my life as we hear. Yeah. He get an Uber carpool. So he don't know. He get in the car. There's two people in the car. He's sitting there like, what the fuck are these people doing? Yeah. So they had to drop two people off first. Yeah. yeah. Before he, he could get dropped off. So by the time he get to me and uh, Randy's donors again get to the car, the police is already there. You know what I'm saying? I done fought already. Yeah. So he gets to the truck. <laughs> he, black super. Yeah, he, he gets to the truck. He's like, man, what's going yeah. on? They're like, get down. He's like, oh, shit. And they think it's him. Or they, think they, don't, they don't know what's going on. So they told him. That's like, crazy. They see a nigga. They, ain't they went him. crazy on him. He's like, fuck. He was scared yeah. for his life. But they got him in the truck. He drove around there. So mind you, I'm still there. So as I'm there. It was a car parked in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So he must have was in a car with three niggas driving around. Oh, yeah, so niggas. it wasn't just even, yeah, they, he probably called his people. And yep, and so what they happened, he probably dropped them off, let them right there inside the store. They seen me, comes in, because it's like a, get, uh, like a trash can right there. Yeah. Comes in. So they must have pulled right here and was watching. So as we fight, they sitting right in the car, because when I took the gun from them, I go in here, they get out the car. His, his homeboys was probably scary. They, didn't even they were scary. Yeah, so they, they tried to scared. jump in at the last minute, because they didn't <laughs> fan me out yeah. when we was on the ground, but yeah, thank God you know. it didn't. So they get out of the car with a gun. So the lady like in the store, like, that's why you see the big lady like, oh, they happy because I saved them. I'm like, everybody get inside. I'm going to shoot these motherfuckers. Let's go. So they get out of the car. She's like, they got a gun. I'm like, what's up? I'm sitting there low behind like two shells like I'm from the nigga. What's up? Yeah. And as I'm doing that, I'm walking. still on the floor? The dude, no, he ran. Oh, he ran out. No, so he, he, he took his gun. And oh, he, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, he yeah, came yeah. to ride me. I, I <laughs> took his gun. I took his yeah. gun. He ran off. You can see in the video. He runs yeah. off. Um. As he runs off, they walk into the gun. They walk into the store at the gun house. So I had the gun, and as I'm about to engage with them, that's when the police officer comes, yeah. and they jump back in the car, drive off. Yeah. And the lady told the police, so they pulled him over at Randy's Donuts. Damn, that's crazy. And the police stopped me. They're like, "Oh, I'm like, man, fuck that. I need to take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. viral. Yeah. So um, they they put me in the car, like, and they stopped the niggas over there. And whoever you niggas it is, I let y'all go. Y'all lucky, cause I'm, yeah. I came from the streets. 
I could have been like, niggas, that's them. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But I let y'all go. You know what I'm saying? I said, no, nah, they had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I let y'all live. And uh, just don't rob niggas no more, man. Go do some other shit, man. God damn. So would you tell your boy about that donut after? <laughs> man, this is why I didn't say I was on no jumper and I forgot to say this. Um, the next day I ate that donut and man, that donut was good to motherfucker. Man. <laughs> that motherfucker was scrumptious. I said, damn, I want to go back for another one. But I won't, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But that bitch was smacking. That bitch next time. But uh, that's just life, though. People yeah. listen to your intuition. Um, God is going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? If something bad for you, he's going to show you not to do it. It's real. And I knew that whole day. It was three, four times I said I didn't want to yeah. go. And uh, But he still saved me and that guy at the time. Facts. Like I said, who knows? That gun probably was chamber. He could have been you. It could have been him. Could have been, been him. He was tight. He was tight running. Yeah, could have yeah. been in his back. It could have been. It could have been the biggest gangster in goddamn LA nephew or something. I got a number rest of my life already, niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, God was on both our sides. Um, yeah, then I want my freak. And, and the thing about it is, too, I tell people this. I, I forgot to say this in an interview, too. You got to be careful what you ask for. Right. Because two months prior, I knocked a nigga out and it made a world star. Right. And my homeboy like, man, ain't nothing better than you smoke a nigga. I'm like, yeah, I want yeah. me to smoke me a nigga on film. And it almost happened to me and another motherfucker. So yeah. be careful what you ask for, man. Yeah. That shit can really come to you, good or bad. Right. Sure. Uh, what's, ne what's next for you? Um, me and my girl Champ, she over there. Look at her. You know, you got to shout her out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Won't be here without her. You know what I'm saying? It's my rock. Um, so working on a travel show called Bucket List Living. I go around the world doing legendary shit, swimming with sharks, harpooning goddamn possums, and goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Killing Tasmanian devils yeah. in Australia. Shit like that. So TV shows, movies, more products, more branding, more partnerships. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm the hood Kanye, man. Yeah. They're gonna remember this shit in five right. years when I get that billion. What's what's some things that uh, people misunderstand about you? They misunderstand my confidence and, 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 and um, my strength and self-motivation and self-discipline. Mm -hmm. They take it as being cocky, they take it as me being shit on them. When I say I love me, I'm the shit, they think I'm saying I'm shit so on them. I want my flowers. I, I need them, I'm Mr. Yeah, yeah. Organic, I planted my own flowers and I'm gonna enjoy them. I want my roses yeah. and petunias, you know what I'm saying? So people misconstrued my brashness about myself as I'm shitting on them, which is just their insecurities elevated by my Facts. love for myself. Facts. So if people take it the wrong way, some do, but most people take it as motivation. And um, Okay, what would you change about yourself if you could? Oh shit, I'm a perfect nigga, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> only, thing, only thing I can't do is grow hair. Um, yeah. So <laughs> once my hair stopped growing, I got anything I, mean, I wanna- Tory Lane? I know I, I can't do that, brother. Anything that don't wanna be with me, I don't, I don't allow to stay. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna go, you don't wanna stay, you can go. Yeah. So I went bald, so that's yeah. the only thing. I would change this nigga out. I, I could grow some motherfucking. I want a curly afro, brother. You know what I'm saying? Just edged up this motherfucker looking curly, just like a, like a set of Samoan motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's it, brother. That God yeah. made me perfect, man. I can't lie. If you could go back 18 years and tell your younger self, what would you tell him? Don't stop. You was right. Everybody wrong. You can't nobody fuck with you. Go be rich and all of them. Look better than all of them. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> don't stop. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck how long it take. Yeah. Buckle down, nigga. You're going to take till you about 38, so. Niggas don't right. retire to their sissy or they never retire. They die when they retire. Right. Nigga, you gonna get it. Don't stop. <laughs> Fuck everybody. Fuck everything. Yeah. Ups and downs. Take it all. Yeah. Give me all bad, good, cold, hot. So, <laughs> give it to don't me, change. baby, because I'm gonna be living like this. Yeah. Message to Malibu, Ferraris. Yeah. <laughs> In LA. God damn. Look at this nigga, man. Beautiful woman. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Life is Bless. great. Yeah. Keep going, nigga. You gonna get everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to cut the time short. I appreciate you coming out. Yeah. Uh, just to end it, if you could get some motivation, on, you know, just to the youth and the, and the people watching. Man, it's, um, it's SRTF. Uh, Mr. Organic. Um, fertilize your greatness. You got to start the seed. Once those seeds grow, you're going to get the fruits. But you got to go through the root and the tree to get there. Um, so while you're going through the SRTF, it's on my fingers, man. I believe in this shit. It's SRTF. Mm -hmm. Seed, root, tree, fruit. It's like Nip Marathon. Once you go in through your irrigation process. Who was helping you get those crops wet? Who was going there knocking them locusts off your off your fruit? Who was there killing them coyotes with you? Because when the fruit come, everybody want to eat it, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to remember who was there with you at the seed. They should be at you, with you to get the fruit. Right. But embrace the journey. It's going to get dark. You're going to have droughts. You're going to have no it's bad like, crops. Yeah. Learn how to fertilize your greatness and accept the fucking journey. Buckle down mm -hmm. and use other people bullshit as fertilizer to grow. You know what I'm saying? And once you get those seeds, all I ask you to do is give it back. Eat your fruit, but pass it back Facts. so they can eat too. Facts. That's why I got the books. That's why I talk like this. I don't got to say nothing to nobody. I can just sit in the sunset, white man mode, just get this money, and I tell y'all, be like this. I told my to get crypto. I told my to get sheaves. I told them to get sheaves six months ago before it blew up. Listening. Now it's 300% up. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I made Still M's on it. I told y'all. Yeah. I don't want to listen. Yeah. But I'm going to keep giving my seeds back because God put me in a position and I have a purpose to motivate and inspire my, my people through positivity and prosperity. You heard it, man. You are joining with Joan. Best fucking podcast on the universe. We got a special guest today, man. Appreciate you coming well, out. Gang love from the seed. Gang. Yeah, it's real.
Man, good shit. It's like you feel like how you look, niggas always have felt. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you look like money. Three up. God. Yeah. See my wrist on freeze, yeah. See my wrist on freeze, yeah. See my neck on freeze, yeah. See my neck on freeze, yeah. You ain't getting none of these, though. You ain't getting none of these, yeah. Pocket filled with G's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't talking about Gucci, yeah. I ain't talking about Louis.